Hello friends, in this video I will talk about the consolidated account statement. It is a complete list of units of mutual funds and holdings of securities held in the DMAT form in CDSL or NSDL. The mutual fund units could either be in physical form or DMAT form. Lately, the CAS has also been including insurance policies held in e-insurance accounts. This statement gives the investors a total update of his or her financial assets that is shares, mutual funds, insurance, etc. It helps him to monitor and review the portfolio and take the decisions accordingly. Consolidated account statement is generated on a monthly basis to those investors wherein a financial transaction has been made during a month. Instead of receiving consolidated account statement in hard copy, investors could sign up with NSDL or CDSL. This would help them to receive their consolidated account statement by email on their registered email ID by using the ECAS facility. Investors can click on the link nsdlcas.nsdl.com and click on NSDL ECAS to sign up for this feature. For subscription to ECAS, one needs to know the CAS ID. It could be found out by clicking on the Know Your CAS ID tab. The investor has to provide his PAN, DP name, DP ID and client ID. Once all of this is correct, the CAS ID shows up on the screen. Once this ID is known, the investor can subscribe to eCAS by entering the CAS ID and the PAN. Once the submit button is clicked, the investor has to choose the mobile number on which the one-time password will be sent for verification. OTP which comes from the mobile number must be entered. Also, the investor's email ID is registered. The investors are required to accept the terms and conditions for the ECAS. Once all these steps are completed, the service starts. The ECAS is a password protected file and one needs to enter PAN in capital letters as password to open the file. With this, I come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching the same. Goodbye. Investment in the securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Such representations are not indicative of future results.